Close your eyes and take a couple of good, long, deep in and out breaths. You think the word butto together with a breath, but in, to, out. It's good to think about the Buddha every day. Okay. He's our example in how true happiness can be found. He developed the perfections through many, many lifetimes. That's how he became Buddha. And so we work on the perfections as well, to remind ourselves that this is what the real accomplishments in life are, are all about, the good qualities we develop in the mind. When you make changes in the world around you, sometimes they last, sometimes they don't last. You notice what human history is like. It has its ups and downs. But what you can take of lasting quality from this life is the quality of your mind. And so what qualities are you developing? You're developing virtue, you're developing discernment, you're developing generosity, patience, equanimity, goodwill. Look at the way you live your life. And as you go through the day, look at every opportunity to act as an opportunity to develop some good quality of mind, whether it's at work or at home, or you're sitting here meditating. It's the development of the mind that really matters. Everything else in the world comes and goes. The good you do, sometimes it looks like it's riding on the water with a stick. There's no nothing left on the water to show that the stick went through it. Other times, though, that you know you can have a long, long impact on other people and the things around you. So the world uncertain like that, you want to look for what really is certain. And the certain thing is that if you do have an impact on the world, you want to make it to be a good impact. And that has to come from a good mind. And the good mind to be good has to be trained. We all want happiness, but we have a lot of ignorance as to how happiness can be found. So we want to overcome that ignorance. And it's through developing these perfections, generosity, virtue, renunciation, discernment, all the good qualities of mind that you can think of. There is a list of ten, but those aren't the only good qualities you can work on. There are many, many things that you can work on. So look at each day as an opportunity to develop more good qualities in your mind. And that way the day won't be wasted. It'll be an auspicious day, regardless of what the stars are, regardless of what happens outside. The fact that something good is coming from your mind and creating good habits within the mind. That's what makes the day auspicious. That's what the day that's the day that's been well spent.